Okay, so rule of thumb is if you want to paint a big line, use a big brush. And if you want to paint a small line, use a small brush. So it all depends on the size of the line you want to paint, really. Um, for example, if you were painting your house, then you wouldn't use this little brush to paint a wall. You'd use a great big brush. So it's the same thing, really. Um, but if you were painting a windowsill, you'd probably use this brush. Or this brush. Yeah. So you just need to try to work out what size line you, you want to paint. Um, so, but I would always say, buy one of these brushes. These are my favourite because they're delicate, they can do wispy lines, but because they're a fan, they can also cover a large amount of area very, like, very quickly as you slap on the paint. And also, because it's fanned, they leave interesting marks, um, which can be, become part of the painting. So, there you go. Big marks, big brush, small marks, small brush. It's exactly the same as if you were drawing. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. These are my, these are the brushes I use the most, but they're actually stuck. So, so I've ruined all of those. But it's okay because you can always buy more. Because you, you can get pick up cheap brushes, they're like two pound for four. So what they fifty p each. So that's okay. So don't worry, don't become too OCD about brushes because you can always buy more. There isn't going to suddenly be a shortage of paint brushes. There's millions to choose from. And try lots of different brands. And uh, see I like this one. When I put a you see that? It's dirty. But when you put a um, first coat on the canvas, you want a big brush. You don't want a small brush. Imagine how long you'd be there with that little brush going. Making everything perfect. You don't have to make it perfect. It's acrylic. So what I would say in the beginning is if you want if you're unsure, make a small mark and then you can make it bigger because it's easier to make a small mark bigger than a big mark smaller. Although, it is acrylic that I'm using and acrylic is very forgiving so you don't have to worry too much because if you do something wrong all you need to do is wait for it to dry and then paint over it. It's very, very straightforward. Acrylic is wonderful. It really is. So yeah. these stand out. Windsor & Newton, this one stands out, I like this brush, it's Windsor & Newton, it says size 111. Size 4, I was going to say 111, that would be huge, but no, size 4, this is a nice brush because it's, um, it's both small yet big. So it can do, depending on how hard you press, so you pre obviously if you press hard, it becomes bigger. But if you press lightly, it's smaller. So yeah. These brushes I buy, but I never use because I can't control them properly. Because they're so, I don't know, uncontrollable. And also the very small brushes like these. They're quite quite difficult with acrylics because of the the texture of acrylic. Um, so, but you can use them because you can make them into a point. Oh, and this one, I love this brush, and I love buying these brushes, but I just don't get on with them. But it doesn't matter. You'll find your own way, and you'll find your own the types of brushes you like. It'll be fine. Just give it some time. Have a play. Don't worry too much about being expensive at first. This one, ah, has no name. Look at that. So I'm simply going like this. 
Can you see all those hairs? I don't know if you can. I just like that. And look all these hairs coming out. So you don't want one like this. And it has no name. No name. So we don't know what brand that is. It looks nice though. It feels nice. Just the, oh. Oh, because the problem with that happening is that you usually paint the whole painting and you're like happily going along and then when, you, when it dries you find all these little hairs in the painting or near the end and you see these hairs and you try and pick them out and then it just ruins the painting. But it's all part of the process, learning is all part of the process. You'll be absolutely fine every time you will have these many paintbrushes. If not more. This is a nice one. Ah, but it also has no name. Daler. Size 7, Daler. This is nice. Get one of these, because it's kind of middle of the range. This one's, this is a 7. Sorry, this is a 4, this is a 7. So if you can see, well you can already see, the different size of the lines that they would make especially compared to that one so they're all different small medium and large that's what you need at the beginning until you know what you're doing and you can buy all the sizes in between and you can get great big ones if you so wish this these are really good if you've got a large canvas and you just want to cover a big area really, really quickly. But I find, even though this is an expensive one, and it's the proper proper bristles, proper hairs, but if you see, when I'm doing that, and the hairs are coming out, well, that's no good to anyone, is it? It's such a shame, because it's such a beautiful brush. But anyway, so, just go out and buy some brushes and have a play. So all it is, it's just playing. That's a nice one actually. Number three, that's a nice one. That's, and I know that will make nice marks. It's um, Cotman, oh, Windsor and Newton again. They've won twice now. So out of all these, oh, no, they're, all these brushes, Windsor and Newton are winning. That's a nice one. Windsor and Newton. Let's see if I can find a nice one that isn't Windsor and Newton. Pro Art, highest quality. Um, number one. These were quite nice. <laughs> They're really long. But yeah, these were quite nice, and I did use these a lot, but I think Windsor and Newton have, yeah, because I like this one too, Windsor and Newton. I didn't even notice, what's that one? I don't know what that one is. You can feel actually, there's so much, do you not you? It's so much softer. That's real synthetic. But it won't, the, but the bristles won't come out because it's synthetic. Mm. But yeah, we could talk about paintbrushes all day, but we need to get on with the painting now. You will spend a lot of time painting just going like this, looking for the right size brush. But that's okay. It's all part of learning. So, on with the painting. <laughs>